Hi there, I'm Rock and Roll. Thanks for stopping in. So, the other day I had an idea for a video. It was to create a Gizinka of one of the new starters. And I asked my friends, I sent it out in the server, this little poll here, to see which ones they would choose. I didn't tell them it was going to be a Gizinka or for a video, but they kind of assumed that anyway. But these were the results. So, no tiebreaker. Um, and instead of getting a tiebreaker, I decided to go with Garuki. As you may have been able to tell by the thumbnail and, you know, video name and all that jazz. But here we are. This is the deal. I'm ready to draw. Let's go. Alright, now that we're into it, just a little bit of background info for you. This is based on a Pokemon, uh, one of the three new starters that have been announced for the new Pokemon game. This one is called Grookey, and the other two are uh, Scorbunny and Sobble. I want to say Sobble. I think that's it. He's got little grabby hands. I think that's why I'll choose him, but he's the little chameleon dude, and the bunny is the bunny. And for those of you who don't know what a Gajinka is, I guess to summarize it really quickly, maybe not entirely, it's, it's like an anthropomorphic character, but of an object. So, like... You could take a cup and turn it into a person, and that's a Gizinka, basically. And that's what I've done with Grookey, the new starter. So as you've seen some of my previous videos, perhaps maybe like my character design videos, where I do usually a restricted color palette based on a couple of objects or a description, and you know, you get a springboard for that, but this is a little different since you're adapting an existing thing into a character. So you have predetermined traits to work with and from there base the rest of your design off of, which is very interesting and it's not a process I'm familiar with. This is my first Gijinka, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, when I saw Grookey, actually, I kind of thought of this girl with a surgical mask on Sim you know he's got that circular muzzle that's pretty angular uh, well not angular but it's a distinct shape though i'll say i hoped to add some strong shapes to this character not only because shapes are fun and they're really distinct in characters and add nice defining features i tried to make this character curvier than i usually draw when you think of a surgical mask too, probably, like on a girl, you probably think of a pretty skinny Asian woman. That's, that's what I associate with it, honestly. Or sickness and death. Either or. I just made a lady. A curvy lady. Though I do think her curviness got lost as I continued the drawing, so it's a little unfortunate, but the intent was there and she probably is still curvier than most of my other pieces. On a different note, you may notice that I was having a hard time with her legs, uh, which is not something necessarily uncommon for me. I admit that I, the last thing that I drew was not for a video, and I also will say that it has to do with why I didn't post a video last week, but I'm not going to tell you exactly why. You'll see eventually, and I'll let you know why maybe eventually, but not right now, so. Um, the last thing I drew was in a very similar pose to the pose the Grookey lady is in. It's a little fresh in my mind, aka I recently drew crossed legs and I learned it's useful to have one layer per leg so that you can sketch out the entire leg and you can see that the anatomy is actually correct before you work on the leg in front of it. Usually where problems arise is when the back leg gets distorted because the alignment's a little off. I mean, it's just difficult to do. It's never really easy to have, draw crossed legs, but this makes it a little easier and I've just slowly learned recently that the more layers the merrier. There's no reason not to have more layers as long as you keep them somewhat organized then you know give them names and folders and whatnot and then you're all set. You can have as many as you want. Particularly with coloring lately you might see that I have an orange layer, a brown layer, a dark green layer, and a green layer, a different skin layer as well. When you're doing all the colors on the same layer they start mixing and you you know you don't want that and unless you do want that you should 
consider just making more layers. I don't know why I didn't really, but, well actually I do know why. It's because I didn't know that clipping layers existed. And what I've done in this video, I've made a new layer for each color, and then I've clipped it to the original layer, so I didn't have to select the exterior and make it, you know, stay in the lines. It's, the clipping layers are there to keep a new layer attached to an existing layer, so it won't go outside of its alpha or pre-existing pixels. So you're all set, easy peasy. It's just a, it's just a good time all around. Ten out of ten, I recommend. Scoreboard. Asked my friends for help, only to do the complete opposite of what they told me to do. Shoplifted a jacket off of what is probably an Instagram model or heavily product placement of girl. I, uh, I missed last week's video, so I'm going to minus one to my score now. I really love you. I'm sorry. I downloaded two new brushes and made a background that I'm pretty okay with, even though I was dying. And I drank one cup of tea. Meaning my total is six minus one, AKA that's five. So my score is lacking. I'm falling behind. I need to drink more tea. I need to just step it up, help me. And together we'll get a higher score. Probably, let's find out. Tune in next time. so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and sharing it with a friend. It really would mean a lot to me. I post every Saturday, for most Saturdays, uh, so I will catch you next week. Thanks again. I'll see you around.